Welcome my classmates in business ethics. I am Ronald Renison and today we will discuss a critical survey of the different normative ethical theories commonly used in business decision making. There are five main topics we are going to cover. Conscience and morality, ethics according to Immanuel Kant, the Machiavellian principle, utilitarianism of Jeremy Bentham, and utilitarianism of John Stuart Mill. Let us now dive into each topic. Topic 1 is Conscience and Morality. Generally speaking, conscience is understood as a voice that every sane person carries within herself or himself that tells right from wrong, regardless of the law or the opinions of people around him or her, whereas morality presumes that we have the ability to determine what is right and wrong independently of the law. When evaluating human conduct, we generally follow norms, principles, or rules among others which will tell our conformity or non-conformity and will result in our own judgment whether the acts are moral or immoral. Now that we learned about conscience and morality, let's talk about the different types of conscience. An antecedent conscience is when you think and evaluate before you act which is the opposite of the consequent conscience where the judgment comes after the act. Being objective and telling it as it is is a true conscience, while an erroneous conscience sees judgment at a distorted manner that is either invincible or inculpable. That is, you're at fault because you don't know what you don't know, or you're indeed at fault. Continuing on, certain conscience is a subjective certainty of legality of actions. Well, doubtful conscience is when a person is not certain about a moral judgment. When you see wrong where there is none, it is called scrupulous conscience, and failing to see wrong where there is wrong is called lax conscience. Let us now move on to the norms of morality. We hear the vato praise, agere se kitureze, knowing what something is so we can know something about how we should act. It is also called the natural law. The eternal law, or also called the divine law, was perceived as deriving from a transcendent source such as the will of God. Divine laws are those that God, in His grace, seen fit to give to us and was considered as the ultimate norm of morality, because it is as if God has spoken. This is the only one criterion for scholastic philosophers.